Welcome back everyone to Cuenca, Ecuador. Now in a previous video, or a first video I think that we made here from Cuenca, I mentioned that uh, Cuenca has a very, very diverse and delicious restaurant scene. A center for delicious, a very delicious and diverse uh, food scene. The gastronomy of Cuenca is becoming, quickly becoming well known, not just for like traditional, um, like Ecuador food, basically, but also for restaurants of all different types of food they have around here in Cuenca of very, very high quality. So we wanted to go out and explore the different restaurants that we can find here in Cuenca. One, because, well, I'm a hungry fat guy, and two, because I wanted to show off all the different types of delicious food that you can get here in Cuenca. Not just like typical Ecuadorian food, but food from all different cuisines and all different types of restaurants. So let's go ahead and come along and you can see all the delicious food that we stumble our way into along the way. Before we do that, I just want to say real quick thank you very much for watching the video. Click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's free, it's easy, and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers. All right, back to the video. All right, so we're walking along here next to Rio Tomebamba, right there, because we're headed to the Paradise, Paradise Indian Restaurant. So this place I've heard of actually before, and uh, it also got excellent reviews on Google, and I, I've really, really wanted to eat some Indian food. Honestly, I love Indian food. And I haven't been able to find a lot of like Indian food in a lot of the places where we've been in South America. But because I mentioned here in Cuenca, there is a really, really good food scene, restaurant scene that is also very diverse. Lots of different types of restaurants. They have what I hope is a really, really good Indian restaurant here. And it's super close to uh, the center of Cuenca. So we can easily just walk over there and uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check it out. Let's go check out this Indian restaurant and uh, we'll let you know how it is. All right, so we're coming up on the restaurant now and I just wanted to mention a little bit about it. Um, it's called Paradise Indian Restaurant, like I said before. And I actually learned about this place already. You know, it's weird. <laughs> it's sunny out, but it's raining a little bit. That's some like typical Cuenca stuff. Cuenca weather, but uh, this restaurant I already knew about, and I knew about it from uh, a blog and a YouTube channel that I may have mentioned at some point in previous video about Ecuador, but uh, it's called Amelia and JP, and it's a couple who are from the United States who moved to Ecuador, and they lived here like as expats in Cuenca, and they made a lot of videos They've got a lot of subscribers. They're kind of like a, a go-to information source for about Cuenca and about Ecuador and about uh, being an expat in another country. So um, you should check out their channel. I'll put the links to their blog and their channel down uh, in the description here. And some of you, if you're watching videos about Ecuador made by a gringo like me, you probably already know about their channel, to be honest. But they had featured this, uh, this restaurant. Apparently, they are friends with the owner, and I'm really, really interested to try this place because they have said that it's very delicious, and for my entire trip here, for the last, you know, like five or six months, I've been really, really craving some good Indian food. I really love Indian food. It's one of my favorite uh, cuisines, and in Chicago, where I'm from, especially out in the suburbs, like, it's very, very easy to get really good Indian food because there are a lot of um, uh, people, like Indian people and uh, Indian families that live out in that area, so it's just really easy to get it. Here in South America, it has not been so easy. It's been kind of hard for me to find Indian food, but when I decided that I was gonna come here to Cuenca along my trip, I knew that this was one of the places that I wanted to go to get uh, delicious Indian food. So let's go. We're going there right now. There it is. Paradise Indian Restaurant, which we've already heard so much about. I, I, I am sure that this is going to be a very good meal. Because uh, like I said, we already know about this place. This place is a known quantity and we're going to get delicious Indian food. It's going to happen right now. Here it is. There's the front of the restaurant. We're about to head in, but 
They have a nice little outdoor seating. It looks like it's pretty small inside, not too many seats. Okay, so we're here in Paradise Indian Restaurant. I am mentally preparing myself to uh, eat far too much Indian food. It's the middle of the day, we're here for lunch, and I really am going to eat far too much Indian food. It's gonna be wonderful. It's probably gonna ruin the rest of my day, but I don't care, it's gonna be delicious. I'm here with a friend who I just met. Uh, he's the owner of the restaurant. His name is Evin. 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 Hi, hello. Evin. <laughs> there he is. My name is Evin. Uh, I'm from the owner of the restaurant. Uh, we're living in eight years here. Uh, it's good. good. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. He's a very nice, very nice gentleman. We were having a conversation in in uh, English and in my terrible broken Spanish. He speaks Spanish way better than I speak Spanish because he's lived here for eight years. And uh, looks like the food is about to come. So when it comes, we'll get plenty of pictures. We'll tell you how it is. And I'm sure it's going to be delicious. So you can see inside, it's definitely a little small restaurant, but man, they have an extensive menu and the owner was uh, nice enough to message me a copy, a PDF copy, and you can see here, so many dishes. The menu is very, very extensive. They have a lot of stuff. I really would have liked to have tried everything, but of course, my stomach is not big enough, so uh, we got, well, I'll show you what we got. This here was a delicious fish curry that we got. We got some, um, it, was, it was not too spicy. Uh, I ordered it like medium spice, and, it was perfect for me. Uh, I do like spicy food, so it wasn't like incredibly spicy, but it wasn't like uh, not spicy at all either. We also got some biryani, which is like a rice, delicious rice with uh, that had some like a uh, little, um, I think like little seeds in it or something. I don't know. It was very, very delicious. And then we also got some naan, uh, which we always, you know, end up getting and it, it was it was good. I mean, everything everything here was really really good. And the owner Abin is a very very nice guy. We chatted with him a little bit, um, got to know his story and how they started the restaurant. I mentioned that I sort of already knew about the restaurant from the videos that we watched on YouTube, and uh, it was delicious. So our meal at Paradise Indian Restaurant was so delicious that uh, I actually decided to come back. Uh, there's a holiday today, and they're having a buffet like all day in celebration of the holiday and so we're gonna go we're gonna go check it out made a reservation and everything because it's supposed to be like pretty crowded for the buffet but uh, I think it's only like $13 and it's all you can eat and it's gonna be delicious and I am gonna eat a lot uh, so here we are we're walking right up on it if you recognize it from when we were here before we're gonna head in and uh, we're gonna eat a lot <laughs> so in addition to what they had out here, they also brought desserts out and drinks, and man, there was so much food. I show you an example of one of the plates that I put together here, but let me tell you, this was not the only plate I ate. I ate more than, more plates than this, more than I would like to admit right now. It was delicious. Just as before, very delicious. I like that it was a buffet, of course. One of the problems of uh, traveling by yourself, eating by yourself at a delicious restaurant, is everything looks really good on the menu. But I can't order everything, because I can't eat all that. So, it's honestly very nice to have that situation with a buffet, where I can just get a little bit of everything. And it's very, very good. And of course, the owner, I mean, very, very nice guy. All around, 100% 10 out of 10 experience. Uh, you should check it out. If you're here in Cuenca, you're craving Indian food, that's the place, Paradise Indian Restaurant. Okay, so next up on our food restaurant adventure around Cuenca, Ecuador, there's something that I've been trying to, trying to find here in South America. I've been craving it. And uh, it's Mexican food, sort of. Now there have been Mexican restaurants pretty much all over the place in the places that I've been to so far. Finding Mexican food is not a problem. The problem is I'm trying to find a very specific type. Now in the United States there is a, uh, a type of burrito. It's called the Mission Style Burrito. It's named after the Mission District in San Francisco, California, which is uh, a neighborhood that has a long, like, historic uh, like a long history of uh, Mexican immigrants. 
and Mexican Americans. And they developed a very special kind of burrito. It's usually a burrito that has like rice, uh, beans, some sort of meat, onions, cilantro, and then uh, usually like sour cream, some sort of salsa, sometimes guacamole. Um, and the very uh, popular Mexican fast food chain in the United States, Chipotle, copied this. And that kind of burrito is kind of a very United States kind of burrito. And even outside of like uh, that area, burritos in other cities, like for example in Chicago, if you get a burrito, it's usually like meat, uh, beans, and then it comes with like cheese, lettuce, and tomato. So it's a very different kind of a burrito, but I've been craving a mission style burrito. And I got word that this restaurant right here, right across this little plaza, Laredo's, right over there. I've been told that this place may be the place where we can get a mission style burrito. So let's go, let's go check it out. So we did it. We got a burrito. It has rice inside. It is like a mission style burrito with rice inside. And it has, uh, we get to choose two kinds of meat. So I chose two kind, different kinds of pork because everybody loves pork. Also, I wanted a beer. I wanted to get a Pilsner, which is like the beer of the people here in Ecuador. And the only size Pilsner they had was that big boy right there. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a liter. Anyway, it's a giant beer and we're gonna eat, drink it. So we're gonna eat this burrito and we're kind of going to get hammered on that beer. It's going to be great. Muchas gracias. So we got our beer, our giant beer, and we got our mission style burrito. And let me tell you, it was an actual mission style burrito. It had in it exactly what I wanted it to have in it. And uh, they also had some hot sauce, some actual spicy hot sauce. Now, one of the things that uh, I've been craving here in Ecuador is some spicy food. We got some at the Indian restaurant, and now we're getting some here at this uh, Tex-Mex kind of a restaurant because food in Ecuador is delicious, but typical Ecuadorian food is not very spicy, and I have been craving some spicy food. So, this was very, very good, and the beer was it was pretty big. It's like a liter of beer. So, um, all in all, a very good meal. All right, we ate it. We ate it. It was delicious. And I thought I almost stepped in some dog poop, but it wasn't. It was just a leaf. So we were lucky. Also, I'm uh, significantly beer buzzed because I drank that whole like liter of uh, beer. They had other smaller beers, but I wanted uh, Pilsener, which is like the beer of the people of Ecuador. And the only size Pilsener they have was one liter, so what are you going to do? They only have one size, you got to drink the whole thing, right? Anyway, that place was really, really good. We're here in Plaza Otorongo. Plaza El Otorongo. And that's where this place is, Laredos. See it over there again, Laredos. So like, if you are like me, and you are in Ecuador, in Cuenca, and you are craving a mission-style burrito, or actually also they had California style burrito, which is like the style of burrito that they do in Southern California in the United States, where instead of rice, they use French fries. Um, it's not really my thing, but I know some people really like it. So like if you're looking for that style of Mexican food, it's the style of Mexican food that they have in like the United States, specifically in like California. Um, if you're looking for that here in Cuenca, Ecuador, you can find it. You can find it at Laredo's here in Plaza El Otorongo, and you can also find a really big beer that will get you pretty buzzed. Anyway, our next uh, food challenge that we're going to take on is ramen. I have been craving a bowl of like really good Japanese ramen for, uh, for a while. And I've got a lead on a place around here that uh, serves some pretty good ramen, I think. So, that's gonna be our next mission. We're gonna try and find some delicious ramen. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna walk for a little while. And uh, next time you see me, and I see you, hopefully, we'll be eating ramen. Okay, hello again. We are here 
in beautiful Plaza San Sebastian. Once again, you may remember this from our video that we made about the Republic of Cuenca and Ecuador's independence from Spain. But we're not here for that reason. For, here, for this reason today, my brain can't make words. We are not here for that reason. We're not here to talk about independence again. We are here because right here on the plaza, right here behind me actually, across the street, is Osaka Ramen. We're here to get ramen. And uh, I've heard that this place is pretty good. I've heard it's pretty legit, the ramen. Um, and I like to, I hope that it is. I really like to hope that it is pretty legit because I really, really want some ramen. Um, this whole video has been about uh, getting, uh, you know, foods that are not like typical Ecuador cuisine, right? Uh, because Cuenca has such a diverse restaurant scene and we've, uh, we've already gotten our Indian food, we've gotten a uh, uh, mission style burrito, right? Uh, of like Mexican food, but in the style of the uh, mission district in San Francisco. And uh, now, well, now we're going to get our ramen, hopefully. This place is actually closed right now. There's, it should open up in just a few minutes, we're hoping. I checked the sign, I checked online, and I think it's going to be open for lunch in just a few minutes, which means we're going to be like the first people through the door. We're going to get kind of the whole place to ourselves, and we're going to get uh, some delicious, like the first bowl of ramen probably for the whole day, and I'm pretty excited about that. So let's go do it. Okay, we're back in the park. Uh, place isn't open yet, but it turns out there's like two locations. One of them is right here behind us. The other one is just around the corner. And uh, both of the doors are locked, but I saw this woman leaving one location and going to the other one. So I went over to the other one, knocked on the door, and uh, she came out. She looked a little flustered. I think she's trying to set everything up to open up for the day. Um, and I think it's, I, I get the feeling that it's kind of like just her running the whole show. And if that's the case, I didn't want to bother her too much. So I said, look, I'll just go wait in the park for like 15 minutes and I'll come back. And she said, perfect. So, so we're going to hang out here in the park for like 15 more minutes or so, just relax and uh, think about all the delicious ramen that we're going to eat. And then we're going to go back over there and we're actually going to eat it because I know that the place is open uh, or it will be open at least, you know, and ready in a few minutes. And uh, I've spoken to the woman who's running the whole show. And it seems like this is legit. So 15 minutes and then we'll be back. So we got inside the restaurant and uh, the seating area is upstairs above the kitchen. A very small seating area, but a very nice little area inside. We uh, got our order in. The menu has ramen, but also some other Japanese dishes. And eventually after a few minutes, our ramen showed up. Now, the ramen looked very, very good, this bowl of ramen. We also got a beer, of course, another Pilsener beer, not as big as the one that we got at the Mexican restaurant, but a nice beer nonetheless. Now, back to the ramen. So the ramen was very good. First off, the broth. It was a miso-based broth, uh, a little bit cloudy, which is good for ramen broth. The noodles were uh, perfectly cooked. Not mushy, still a little springy, very good. The beef that uh, came in it, because we got a beef ramen, was cooked very, um, like, perfectly. It wasn't too chewy, it wasn't overcooked. It was very, very good. And, of course, it came with, you know, hard-boiled egg in it. And the hard-boiled egg wasn't overcooked either. So, altogether, an excellent bowl of ramen. Very delicious. I really, really enjoyed this meal, and it really hit the spot. Okay, well, we finished the ramen. There were some other people up here eating, and so I felt weird about talking to the camera, but they left, and we're all by ourselves here, see? All alone. Anyway, the ramen was delicious. As you can see, ate the entire thing right there. It was very good. It hit the spot, like, really, really hard. The broth was very, very, like, flavorful. Everything was in good proportion. Nothing was overcooked. The noodles still had a little spring to them. The eggs were not overcooked. I mean, it was it was very, very good. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. And I uh, enjoyed the Pilsener that we had with it as well. So, definitely come visit this place. If you're, if you're here in Cuenca and you, and you want a, uh, a ramen hit, you have a craving for some ramen, this is the spot. This is the spot, Osaka Ramen. It's right on Plaza San Sebastian. So come check it out. 
All right, so actually, as we headed out of the Osaka Ramen restaurant, I was able to talk to the owner, uh, and I think really she really is running the whole thing. And her name is Marissa, and she's actually uh, Filipino. And I I told her the one word that I know in Tagalog, which is salamat, which means thank you. And she actually told me that to say you're welcome, you say salamat po. So there, now I know two words in Tagalog. But um, really, really interesting. She was very, very nice. I think that it's very nice. It's nice to meet the owners of these restaurants because all the ones we've been to, you know, is, is really uh, owner operator. They're, they're mom and pop kinds of restaurants, right? Which I really enjoy. And we're gonna see some more. There's two more that we're going to visit. And these two, there's no uh, like exploration for me. There's no doubt that these two are good because I've actually been to both of them already and they're really delicious. And I've met the people that work there. They're super, super nice. And the next one that we're gonna go to actually is a sandwich place it's a place where they make like just very very interesting very um gourmet very interesting sandwiches so we're gonna check that out next all right we're at the sandwich place subs boss um this place right down the street from the hotel where i've been staying and i've been here a, a bunch of times actually in fact like the first night that we were in the hotel uh, we got in like kind of late, super hungry, wanted something to eat, came down, saw this place, went inside, and uh, yeah, it was delicious. Got a chori pan, and the chori pan was like legit, it was as good as the chori pan is that uh, we got in Argentina, so it was really good. Anyway, um, we're here at kind of a weird hour, so uh, we're going to get our sandwich, and uh, you'll check it out. Definitely check it out when we, when we get it. Before we see the sandwich that we ordered on this occasion when we visited, like I mentioned, I've been here a couple times before, and I just wanted to show off the menu, and uh, after you take a look at the menu, you can see some of the things that we got here before. One of them was like this delicious um, Mexican-inspired sandwich with like pulled pork and uh, black bean puree and some like spicy salsa and guacamole. One of them was uh, like a pork belly sandwich. Oh god, this thing was so good. It had pork belly and some sort of sauce that was like passion fruit kind of sauce. My god, it was so delicious. And of course everything you see comes on these, you know, uh, it's plated really beautifully, right? Like for sandwiches, this is some really fancy, fancy stuff. But uh, now on to the things that we actually got on this occasion when we visited. The guys will let me film in the kitchen a little bit back here. So we're gonna get a, a tomahawk T-bone, a T-bone, uh, tomahawk T-bone sandwich, steak sandwich, which is like the most the most impressive thing that they have on the menu. And uh, we're also gonna get a choripan, which I'm gonna take probably with me because it's a lot of food. But I did want to get the choripan because it was so delicious. I wanted to show it off in the video. So there it is in all its glory, the t tomahawk T-bone sandwich. Now this thing, oh man, it, it came with like me melted mozzarella cheese on it. It had onion rings on it. Everything was cooked perfectly. The steak was medium rare, perfect. The onion rings were still crispy. And I didn't mention this before, but like, they do the bread, they like butter it with garlic butter and then grill it so it comes out like crispy and garlicky and delicious. They do that for pretty much like all their sandwiches. Um, they also gave me for free, along with this, um, some regular french fries and some sweet potato fries to try. I also ordered a choripan to take with just because I needed to get like uh, a picture of it because I wanted to put it in the video. Um, but man, this was Top notch, top notch. And the guys that work here, super nice. Um, top notch experience, loved it absolutely every time that I went and visited this restaurant. Well, that sandwich was incredible. I mean, the, that literally, the not joking at all, one of the best sandwiches that I've ever eaten in my entire life. And I am a food lover. I 
love sandwiches. And I've tried sandwiches all over the place, and that was literally one of the best ones that I've ever had in my entire life. Everything was, like, perfect um, about it. I wasn't able to eat the churri, so... Uh, honestly, I just got the chorty pan because I kind of wanted to just take a picture of it for the video. And I'm going to take it with me to go, and I'm going to eat it later today, and it's going to be delicious. But this place for sure, if you're in Cuenca, you absolutely, absolutely have to come to this place. Subs Baston uh, Juan Jaramillo is the name of the street. It's right, right down the street from the hotel where we're staying, um, and it's, it's delicious. Come check it out. All right, next place we're going is a delicious Venezuelan restaurant. It's called Tonio Empanadas. And this place I have been to before uh, because pretty much anywhere I go here in South America, I always try and find a Venezuelan restaurant um, because I love Venezuelan food, it's delicious. And we're gonna go hit this place up right now. Like we mentioned, this is not the first time that we have been to this delicious restaurant, Tonio Empanadas. The first time I went, I actually got this, which is uh, called a pabayon. It's like a plate with a bunch of different stuff on it, rice, beans, a fried egg, some delicious like stewed um, shredded meat, uh, some avocado, like a little fried, some sort of fried uh, fry bread situation. Anyway, along with our pabellon, we got a uh, empanada, like a carne, empanada de carne, and the Venezuelan empanadas are really good. They're deep fried, very, very tasty. So that was the first time we went. Second time we went to this place, we actually went on a Sunday and they were serving this special soup, Sopa del Domingo, the soup of Sunday, right? Sunday soup. And uh, they only serve it on Sundays, of course. And man, it was delicious. Very hearty, big bowl of soup with like a big chunk of meat on the bone in it. It had like vegetables, carrots, um, uh, it had potatoes in it, it had choclo, the like, um, the like Peruvian style corn, I guess, but they have it up here in the north too, in like Ecuador and Venezuela. Big, uh, big starchy chunks of corn. Oh man, this thing was really, really good. We got it with a delicious uh, coffee, really good coffee at this place too. Just to mention, if you've watched some of our videos, like potentially the video uh, on why I loved Argentina, link to, the, to that in the description. One of the reasons was uh, I love the coffee in Argentina, and man, I was looking for a really good cup of coffee in this place. They had it, it hit the spot. So we definitely have been here before, but this time when we came, I got a uh, cachepa, which is like um, uh, sort of like a sweet-ish corn pancake that uh, they stuff it with, uh, with cheese called queso de mano, hand cheese. Anyway, it's topped with like uh, some shredded cheese too on top, and this one came with a side of uh, cerdo, which is like um, like a fried pork, chunks of pork that are fried. Oh my god, it was so delicious! I really enjoyed every time we went and ate at this place. 100% uh, recommend Doña Empanadas in Cuenca. Well, that was as always delicious. That place is really good, and uh, the people that work there are super nice too. I told them actually that I was leaving, you know, uh, next week to go to our next city. And uh, he said, oh, here, let me give you something like a little, like a little dessert for free. So he gave me this, he's called quesillo, I think. It's basically like a flan. I don't know, it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna eat it later. If you've been watching the videos, you know that uh, I've been going, getting Venezuelan food, like pretty much any chance I can, right? I'll go get Venezuelan food in pretty much any of these cities that I've visited. And uh, really when it comes down to it is, I think it's delicious and it's, it's kind of really hard for someone who's an American citizen, U.S. citizen, to, uh, to go to Venezuela. The diplomatic relations between the countries, Venezuela and the United States, are not good. I don't know if you've been paying attention, they're not very good. In fact, the United States Embassy to Venezuela is in Colombia. So it's tricky. It's tricky to get a visa. It's tricky to go there as a U.S. citizen. Um, and so I just have to try and enjoy delicious Venezuelan food wherever I can in any of these countries that I'm visiting. Now, I have met a lot of people from Venezuela in these countries, and to be really honest, everybody that I've met from Venezuela has been super, super cool, very nice. And um, whether it's like someone who has a restaurant or someone who's, who's working somewhere that I meet, or just in general, like people that I meet and I talk to, um, when I find out they're from Venezuela, um, 
it, 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 it sort of like clicks. Oh, okay, that's why you're so nice. You're from Venezuela. Because <laughs> so far, everybody that I've met from Venezuela has been super, super nice. Anyway, um, that place was delicious. I think that's going to be the last of the restaurants that we visit. We've, we could visit so many here in Cuenca, but uh, that would make the video way too long. So anyway, if you're ever in Cuenca and you're craving delicious Venezuelan food, that's the spot. Doño Empanadas. Check it out. So that's pretty much it for our restaurant tour of Cuenca. Like I said, there's a very diverse restaurant scene here in Cuenca. And um, I, I know that I came here to Ecuador and I featured basically uh, lots of restaurants that are not Ecuadorian food. And the reason I did that is because, well, I've decided to stay for a little bit longer in Ecuador than I had originally planned. We had originally planned just to stay here in Cuenca, but we're going to stay in Ecuador for a little longer. And so at the end of our Ecuador stay, I am going to make a video about all the food, the typical Ecuadorian food uh, that we tried here in Ecuador. Because not only have I been eating at these restaurants that you see in this video, but also at a lot of delicious restaurants that serve typical Ecuadorian food. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more videos um, from here in Cuenca and from other places in Ecuador as we see uh, more spots, more cities in this beautiful country. I hope you enjoyed this video and stick around because there's a lot more to come.